Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and I think it's no secret at this point that the channel has basically just been great one grinding content and beginner series content as of recent, and I know that is really not for everybody. Not everyone likes to watch great one grinding all the time, and not everybody likes to watch a low level account all the time, so what we're going to do today is take it back to the old days of the channel and just hunt around in multiplayer looking for diamonds and rares and shooting anything half decent that we find, but we're going to do it with a twist. We are going to be using the 50 caliber Kerman inline muzzleloader today and it should be quite a bit of fun. I haven't used this thing a lot, but it does pack a decent punch and should do very nicely on stuff like mule deer and uh, possibly some mountain lions as well, so we're going to see what we can find and uh, kind of just hop from server to server and try to find some trophies. If we get some, we get some. If we don't, we don't. That is the type of video we are doing today. And I figured what better place to go than Silver Reach Peaks, as this was by far my most played map during the first couple years of doing content here on YouTube. Uh, recently, it's kind of fallen from my number one spot as Tiawaroa got some really amazing changes and Rev on Tule Coast released, which is a really, really good map. So, Silver Ridge Peaks now kind of sits in the third position for me. But that does not take away from the fact that it is still a very good map and is still top three in my books. Oh my gosh, that is actually an amazing thing to see. That is a level four Bighorn Sheep that actually has a chance of making Diamond. And I, to be honest, I can't remember what Diamond score even is. I believe it's like 164 or 167, like somewhere in that range. And that definitely has a chance of hitting that. This guy right here, though, was a 94 scoring gold uh, beige fur type mountain goat. And to be honest, they look kind of good now in this harvest screen. I like the way they look in this new harvest screen. But we got to chase this guy down as quickly as we can. Let's try to get him to stop running away. I don't know if we'll be able to get that to happen. There we go. So we got to try and rush up to about 150 so that we can get this shot off before it goes out of our view. Uh, there's also a few bears in the area, but I'm not really worried about the bears too much. I kind of just want to get this bighorn if we can, because uh, that's a pretty crazy good bighorn. So from what I understand, level 4 diamond bighorn are relatively uncommon to find. However, I do believe it can happen, so I really want to get this guy down if we can, but he's really not giving us an angle. In fact, he might have already spooked off. He kind of went into the trees, and then I moved up here, and I don't know if he ran away. There's a high possibility he did, but we're going to do our best to find him. Well, this may not be what we were after, but uh, there is a light brown turkey right there if we could possibly hit it. And that one is a 9 to 11, so it does have a chance of making diamond, though I don't think we hit the shot there. So that's a little bit sad, but it is what it is. Uh, to be honest, I can't figure out where this bighorn went. The tracks just seemingly disappeared. So we might end up just having to wait to see if it will come back to its zone. You know, the sheer amount of things that have been spooking from the mountain lions has warranted taking down this level 3, as it's really the only thing that I've been able to get close to in the last, like, 25, 30 minutes. It's been kind of brutal. And to be honest, I really just wanted to take something down, as this muzzleloader is actually a lot of fun to use. A lot more fun than I expected it to be. And uh, just wanted to finally get another animal down as it's been quite a while since we took down that mountain goat. As much as I wanted to get that bighorn, I just could not figure out where it went. The tracks just disappeared and it didn't come back to its zone. So we were kind of forced to move on. So that's a bit sad. I wanted to see if we could get that thing to make diamond, but we just were not able to find it. I might return there later as we are still on the same server. Maybe we can get it in its zone at some point, but... Right now, we had to move on and got this level 3 Rocky Elk instead. Well, I'll be. There it is. There is that bighorn sheep that we had to abandon earlier. It has returned to its zone. And in fact, it's in a really good spot for us to take it down. So let's move up closer and see if we can get a shot into it. All right, with this guy being about 150 away and him just going alert, which I'm assuming that means mountain lions, let's just drop a shot into it. And I believe that should be vitals. There we go. We've got a chance at this thing making diamond, though. I'm going to say that it won't. I'm going to say it'll be just short. Yep, it is literally the minimum estimate on this guy right here. 
160.76 though that is really good for a level four i'm pretty happy with that it's unfortunate that it didn't make diamond but that is still a really good looking bighorn sheep oh my gosh let's go that is amazing we've got ourselves an albino plains bison um that is a female so i'm not really too worried if we get like a good vital hit uh we need to chase this thing down and get a shot into it though that is really cool. I have not seen a rare bison in probably over a year at this point. So that is going to be a really awesome thing to take down. If we can catch up to it and sink a shot into it. I think we got a decent chance. There's not really anybody near us. Uh, let's just try to get a shot into it as quickly as possible. Bison tend to turn a decent bit. So I think we should be able to get it as it turns. And to be honest with bison being kind of slow in the way that they run away. We might be able to just move to the side a bit. And then once this guy moves out of the way, we can take the shot. And this is actually our opportunity. I think that's good. We got it. That is such a cool trophy to find in Silver Ridge Peaks multiplayer. Look at that absolutely beautiful bison. Let's go ahead and pick this thing up. That is so cool. Like I was saying, it's been a very long time since I have had a rare or even diamond bison. So this is a really nice surprise. A great return to Silver Ridge Peaks. After all the months of great one grinding and stuff like that that we've done, it's good to get back on a map that used to be pretty much the only thing that I played here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. And this is uh, quite a phenomenal trophy to get uh, on our return. That is a really nice level for Plains Bison right there. I think we got to take it out. Even though, once again, it's not something we can take down with the muzzleloader. That is still a very big bison. So I want to get it down on the off chance that level 4 diamonds are a thing. Because to be honest, I really don't know if they are. But that guy right there has a really good score estimate. So we might as well take him down. And honestly, it's moments like that albino bison that we just took down that make me always return to multiplayer. It's just an experience like nothing else. Sure, you can grind for, for trophies in single player, but there's nothing like going on to a random server, not knowing what you're going to find, and just randomly finding some cool trophies like an albino bison or some random diamonds or other rares. It really gives you a rush knowing that anybody else could run up and try to steal it from you at any time and knowing that there's a lot of things that could happen while you're trying to take it down. It really does just create a rush unlike any other. I think the only thing that really rivals it is finding a great one. It is uh, quite a fun time. Well, let's pick this guy up and see what it scores. This is a 200.23 scoring level 4 bison. So diamond is 221, it was a decent bit off, but that is a good bit into gold, so that is not a bad bison at all. 